or to the cloud dawn hello everyone we are on the 28th of august 2023 and it's gsoc jenkins docker base quick start weekly meeting it's the last official one as we are reaching the end of the gsoc 2023 we haven't asked for any extensions so this week is the final week and we will have as mentors so bear viento jean-marc and myself um, have to begin the evaluation of Azure Torch before September 4 and it's starting tonight my time at 8 p.m. So be afraid, Azure Torch, be very afraid. <laughs> that should go fine. Uh, we have another deadline which is important. It's the 14th of uh, September when you will have to give a presentation, a 10 minutes presentation and five minutes for questions about the whole work you did for the GSOC project. And this morning I had another talk with Damien Dubotel from the Infra team, because as you know it, we have a chicken and egg problem. We can't have uh, PRs merge into Jenkins IO as long as we don't have our images in the Jenkins CI or Jenkins Infra organization. So. He asked uh, us to open a ticket on the Infra help desk to start uh, the beginning of the discussion about where should the repo be integrated? Should it be Jenkins CI or Jenkins Infra? We'll discuss that in a few minutes from now. So last meeting, Ashtosh, we were okay with you beginning the presentation at the beginning of September. We were not in a hurry. That's still valid for me uh, what about you it's fine with you so from next week i would say beginning of next week yeah it's fine for me. that's cool and you already have uh some material from the midterm uh presentation so that should go fine um regarding the extension so we didn't ask for any extension because we are more or less done with what we had in mind and what we'd like is to bring this project um, to Hacktoberfest and to be part of Hacktoberfest, we would like, we will have to have it integrated into Jenkins CI or Jenkins Infra. We are not an open source uh, community yet, it's just the four of us, so that does not work for Hacktoberfest. That's why I'd like us to focus on having your work integrated into Jenkins IO and Jenkins CI or Infra. Uh, before Octoberfest, so that we can tag along the month of September, good first issue, Octoberfest, and so on, if people would like to participate. Um, so the discussion I had with Damien this morning was about, should it be into Jenkins CI organization or Jenkins Infra? As you already know, Jenkins IO is in Jenkins Infra, and that's because it's run on Jenkins Infra structures, so that's why it's there. Uh, as for Jenkins CI, most of the projects which lie into the Jenkins CI GitHub organization are things that will run in the end on the end user machines. And that's a rule that we have. And this project is in the middle of the bridge, I would say, because some parts of this project are, um, will finish into Jenkins IO, so it's part of Infra. But some parts of that uh, will run on the end users' machines because they will run Docker Compose with our images. So I think we have to discuss that. And the first step is just to declare um, ticket on Jenkins Infra support. That's not an easy one, but that's okay. Uh, so the first thing to do will be in September. I don't know when, but in September, have your repo or fork of your repo, um, maybe a stripped down version of the repo without documentation. We'll see something maybe more, much more concise, maybe cleaner. I mean, with not that many uh, readme files and so on. We'll see something more concise into Jenkins CI. Maybe we'll see. Um, as for the pull request we had last week, I saw six plugin update PRs. So your work be works beautifully. Uh, it's 
a good thing to see and plugins are updated regularly. That's a lot of work that we don't have to do manually and that's a good thing. We also have seen nine dependabot updates. Uh, so this has proved that it works, which is pretty cool. I've seen some version updates uh, today on the um, agent, uh, you know, the agent image, Docker agent images. So hopefully within the week, we should have some new dependabot update because I think it is run weekly. Now, as for the open PRs, there is a big one, the end-to-end multi-branch. And could you give us um, a status on this PR, please? Yes, so uh, at the tutorial was more or less complete, but uh, I was getting another error uh, while checking for the tutorials uh, from the GitHub Actions. Uh, are the, the main GitHub Action files that test the running container and checks if, if the job is running that was giving error. I looked into it and the error was coming because uh, the uh, config.xml file and that uh, creates the job were uh, not being accepted uh, into the Jenkins for some reason. It was being created, but it was not showing as the job. So uh, for that, I uh, I searched, searched a little bit and found out that uh, we can curl and create a new job with curl command too. So for that, I have, uh, the XML file is still there, but uh, uh, we are not transferring it directly into the mm -hmm. container. If we are transferring it after the containers are created with the curl command now, and it's working now. That's cool. Well done. So it could be reviewed and merged this week, hopefully. Yes, That's I think Barvian to uh, uh, reviewed it a little bit. He asked a question. I replied. Okay. And then weekend came so that's cool Thank i you. think he he replied on weekend i, think. I haven't seen that it was Let's it was see. about because right now we are using images with the uh, uh branch name right now because it's in separate branch branch that we'll need to remove when we merge it in the main Too big. It's too big. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we only need the merge image in his right now. Should I remove it? Um, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. But we're almost good to go. That's cool. Uh, now there is a conversation uh, going on. It's about the layout of the documentation. So you asked the question as we asked you to do last week. So yeah, should we keep uh, the same set of Docker Compose files? Or should we do another one for the second persona or not? And I gave uh, my insight on that and Berviento also. So I don't know what you think about that, but we may go with a smaller file for the second persona, um, which could be done automatically or by hand for the time being. I don't know. Uh, I, uh, I tried it by doing it by hand and it worked fine. It was not that complicated. I. Let me share my screen. Yeah, please. And we just have to think of um, keeping them up to date. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll need to use them as files. Okay. I didn't think about that. Let
Okay. So I was thinking something like this. Like we gave, we'll give the uh, git clone command, uh, which will lead to our repository, which will contain all the tutorials. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, users can just do this and skip this uh, part. But uh, second part with the files, this is for the first persona. But if someone mm -hmm. wants to do it manually, like second persona, they can. Uh, this is this is just for the Maven part because I have removed all the other services. Mm -hmm. yes. And it works with the same command, doc composer Maven. And I have edited okay, the new images I showed. Okay, this one is too big. I edited it, but I was thinking like this. What do you guys think? Hmm. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's maybe too much information for the first persona. Uh, it's very nice to have it there, but it's maybe too much. What do you think, Jean-Marc? First sight, it also looks uh, a very busy. Looks very busy. So, the question is, what yes, could indeed. be simplified? Yes, or should we create another documentation elsewhere? Yeah. Um, the generally is uh, if you want to to know more, or additional information. Okay. So like, uh, um, could you please, yeah, go ahead. The, the ex additional information, like, should we do it? Like just the link here for the first persona. And if second persona is, wants to use it, he can lead to somewhere else, like GitHub re readme yeah. or something like that. I think it would be better. Mm. Yeah, we can add instructions for building the images and all that. For yeah. I think so. Okay, so, so like, um, here only we'll give the link for the GitHub this, and then we'll continue from here. Yeah. Okay. I would prefer that if you don't mind. So for uh, like for making for making the PR for a uh, new tutorial, all all we need to do is remove some stuff. So like where should we yep. add the documentation like right now? GitHub readme or because right now a readme file is not that verbose. No, no. Uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, maybe you should create another. Uh, file next to this one, but it should also be part of Jenkins.io in the end. So I don't know how you could articulate that, but maybe you have a twin some somehow of this for the second persona, but I don't think it's placed it in the readme.md. I think it should be part of the official documentation also in a way or another. So we shouldn't lose it. We have to have it somewhere, but I'm not so sure readme.md is the right place for it to be. Mm hmm Agreed. Uh, Jenkins.io uh, used a lot of redirection too. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can, there are, uh, there are a lot of twin files. I was getting confused with them when I was trying to do this. So I think some more can be there too. Okay. 
but how how will we uh, will be keeping them updated so they that's a question uh <laughs> Uh, with ASCII doc, you can have some include files. Um, yes. You know, if you want to reference uh, a code file somewhere, instead of copy paste into the document, you can do it via an include uh, instruction. Okay, so that's yes, maybe yes. what we should do. Yeah, oh, sorry, um... somebody is ringing at the door. I'll be right back. <laughs> Jean Marc, please go ahead. Well, I a little bit lost the. Um... I prefer that we pause the recording and we'll okay. pick up again when uh, when uh, Bruno comes oh, back. I... Is that okay for you? It's okay. So we are back. Thank you, Jean-Marc. Uh, so we were discussing, should we create a twin files of some sort in order to have uh, the official documentation for the first persona and a more detailed one for the second persona. And we were also discussing um, that we can include some source code files within the NASCII doc. So maybe that's the solution we should be aiming for. Um, you know, keep the um, Docker files up to date on their own and then include them in the ASCII doc files. Um, but we have to be very uh, careful about keeping the files up to date nonetheless because the files that we will include are not the main files we are working on the main files are the docker compose that are um, kept up up to date things to depend about but we have to make an excerpt uh, of them and then create those small files for the second persona and that's where we have to be very careful i would love to have an automatic a way of doing that instead of relying on our brains i don't know how to do that frankly for the time being we could maybe use something like yq because it's yml um that could work but i'm not so sure about that never tried that yes. so yq yeah. is a yml yaml parser and that we already use a little bit in the GitHub Actions, I think. Yes. And for uh, Gitpod, in order to find the right endpoint, I would say. Uh, um, does it work, so... uh, work on volumes too? Uh, volumes, I think that should be, yeah, that shouldn't be the issue. So... Okay. Yeah, it should be, should work. Hopefully, yes. I will, I will try it today. Okay. Um, oh, my son is not working anymore. There are days like that. Yeah. Yes. Should stay in bed these days. Do you manage? Okay. Bruno? Screen is off. Yeah, his the problem is he is the the meeting organizer, if he drops out, the meeting yeah, okay. dies. Yes. And I don't know how to reclaim that. I had the opportunity once. And reclaim host. There I have. I got the message that you are host now. Going to pause the recording. Thank you. And recording we're back. is on. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Zoom crashed. Um, can you see my screen, by the way? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, so, regarding the layout of the documentation, do you know what to do uh, next, Ashutosh? 
Yes, I think I got that. I will be uh, experimenting with YQ today. So I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Okay, thank you. YQ and um, uh, source code includes within ASCII doc. Nice, and then we'll see if we can open the first PR on Jenkins.io. Uh, even if we know it won't be merged until a few weeks from now. Thank you. Now, regarding the tutorial about end-to-end -end multi branch pipeline project creation, so we're almost ready to merge. You still have a few things to do, but uh, I think that by the end of the week, we should be able to uh, merge it. You managed to uh, get rid of the issues you were having with the jobs in the test, so that's fine. We still have one which is not mandatory, uh, which was use Dependabot and update CLI to keep the samples up to date. As for Dependabot, it's working. I think it's working. We have seen quite a few PRs, but we will have to keep it up to date because you added another directory uh, for the very last example. So I think you should add a section about that into the existing Dependabot file. And as for update CLI, Frankly, I'm not so sure we will have the time to experiment with it. And to be honest, Dependabot already makes um, almost all the work we need it to do. Um, I was pushing a few weeks from now uh, for update CLI because we did not manage to get it to work. And so update CLI was a nice replacement for Dependabot. But now that Dependabot works well, Let's keep it working this way. And maybe later on, we could have update CLI for more uh, touchy parts that Dependabot can't handle. We'll see. So no hurry on this one, not mandatory. Uh, and I added, I added another one a minutes before the meeting, uh, thinking of you, Jean-Marc. <laughs> um, I wrote move test from shell to ghost. I haven't described it properly. I just get three links and that's all. But ghost is a project written in Go that Jenkins uh, Infra already uses. So mm -hmm. the whole thing you're doing, Ashutosh, you know, with curl and so on in a big bash file can be simplified with this tool, which is called GOS. So I don't know what it stands for. Uh, the first part, Go, is because it's written in Go, I guess. But um, it has a few advantages. It works um, on Windows, Linux, uh, Mac OS. Um, it can work with Docker Compose. It's well written, I would say the documentation is pretty well done. And yeah, I'd like that we try this one in order to simplify the existing um, GitHub Actions. Your GitHub Actions work beautifully, but frankly, six months from now, if I have to make modification in those files, I will have a hard time, really. Not because you wrote it badly, it's just because it's a bunch of uh, shell commands and it yeah, does a job. Yeah. That. yeah, it does a job. But frankly, um, maybe we tweaked things a little bit too far. And yes, it works, but we could have a framework uh, to help us do that. So it could be GOS, it could be um, BATS. But frankly, I talked with people using BATS and GOS, and they do prefer GOS. So we don't have to do that, but maybe we should experiment Mm -hmm. just to see if we can get it to work easily and if that could help us have something that is more maintainable six months from now. So I thought of you, <laughs> Jean-Marc, uh, mm -hmm. because I mm -hmm. know you're uh, curious. Just looking in... at it. Yeah. Just looking at the, the page here. Yeah. And for the Jenkins slow and Jenkins fast, uh, there are already working examples. Uh, fast and slow is because on some architectures, you will have a Jenkins starting very fast. So you don't have that many um, steps, you know, wait for that and wait for that and wait for that. And on machines that are pretty slow, you have to be to have a few more steps, I guess, in order to wait for the several 
part of Jenkins Starling. Anyhow, I'm that's just an sure. idea. I'm, yeah, I'm not not seeing the the right thing here. So um, I don't know if it's a standalone tool. It's something to include how to start. No, it's a standalone tool. You can install it within your Docker images if you want to test uh, directly via Docker, or you can install it on your machine and test whatever you want on the machine you are running the things on. It could be a real yeah. service. It could be a service running through Docker. It Do you have be... the, the reference to it? Because uh, my, my, my Google Foo doesn't give a good result. Oh. You mean the um, repo? Yeah, the, the repo or where the tool is located, so you can have. A oh, sorry, it's because... on GitHub. Uh, I'll send you the link via the chat if you don't mind. Um, yeah. Yep. Let me find the right window. Can you see it? Uh, oh, G O S S. Ah. Goss. Ah, my bad. Uh, how would you pronounce that? I have no idea. I made it. French like uh, gosse, <laughs> which yeah, means uh, child, by the way, in French. <laughs> well, I, no, I, I wrote it uh, with a single S. Oh. So, gosh. So, okay. Goss org, yeah, that looks much more. Oops, I need to check the time. There it is, yeah. Well, have a look to it. Thank you. Yeah, so I don't want to force push. I would just say that maybe we should experiment with that and see if it helps us having something more maintainable and more easy to write. Yeah. It's worth yeah. because like, right now for the so latest issue, this... I was editing that file and it is hard to read and even, yeah, it's hard me, to even read. though I created it. So, yeah. The, the only thing that bothers me is that it relies on YAML <laughs> once more. Yeah. John Mark, you are about to say? No, looking oh, okay. at it. So, and so this is a recommended replacement for bats? At least from the Jenkins infra team, uh, that's where I heard that because they were thinking of getting rid of bats wherever they can and replace that with goss yeah the, and... the the problem is with bats is that you need to be good at bash programming yes and, and, pretty and for good. goss you have to be good at yaml indentation <laughs> yeah. but most of the time our ide help us with yaml indentation so we're almost safe Okay. And there are already uh, processes running for the infra team thanks to GOS. So we can hope that it's a sturdy enough tool for us to use it. Yeah. Good. Yes. I learned something. Yeah, I never heard before this morning of this tool. So <laughs> Damien Dupolo, if you read us, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And we're at the end of the agenda I had. Uh, Jean-Marc, while you were away, I think I talked about the presentation that will have to be done by September the 14th. Is there Thanks. anything you would like to insist on before we wrap it up? Um, first recommendation is to be on time. So not uh, going over the, uh, the budget. So 10 minutes for questions and uh, so for presentation and questions. So the questions will be the adjustment variable. Uh, I am um, also interested um, maybe one or two minutes uh, and a couple of bullet points is um, what did you learn and what do you wish to tell the people that want to be part of GSOC for next year? So, uh, and try to make 
the one single advice to have a successful uh, candidature, but also a successful GSOC. Now, focus is something I will say. Yeah. <laughs> it had been a long time yeah. since the last time you say focus, focus, focus. Yeah. Yeah. Is that does that help? I should talk. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jean Marc. Ashutosh, you. anything you'd like to share? Or would you have a question, doubts, or? No, that's it. I think I, to John Mark, yeah, maybe John Mark was not there. I will be, uh, I will not be available for like three days, three or two or three days, mm -hmm. because there is a festival here. So mm -hmm. yeah, and I will be traveling. Yeah. Okay. I I heard that you were uh, you were explaining when I I joined the meeting, you were explaining what the the festival was about. Uh, it, at least I understood that it was a festival, so it's no need to re-explain. I will do my homework. Uh, yeah. Uh, there and knew that you were going to be offline, or very difficult to reach for three days. Yep. And so, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Normally for Ashutosh now uh, at uh, in uh, four hours, uh, he's done. Right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you you didn't hear that Ashutosh. You see, I have three weeks to go. No, no, just kidding. Uh, but yes, we are supposed, Jean-Marc Bevento and I, to evaluate your work uh, by, to, no, not by tonight, from no. tonight, 8 p.m. our time. And we have until the 4th of September, I think, to evaluate. Yeah. Uh, Jean-Marc, would you like um, to uh, set up, that we set up a meeting to discuss that with Bevento or and you, or do you want that we do that asynchronously? Oh, I, I fear I will have a busy uh, time. So, in synchronously. Okay. No well, problem with me. Here, trying to do it sync. Uh, the problem is, uh, I don't want to influence Berviento. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and um, uh, here, start it um, asynchronously. And. Um, if there is a tie or the arguments that we need to discuss, uh, let's make it together. Okay, got it. Thank you, Ramak. Let's do it this way. And we Thank can discuss course. it tomorrow morning. Why not? Let's do that. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you will be available uh, standard time like every week because you're back home uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow morning, normally I should be available at standard time. Now, uh, uh, I found the house in uh, because of the long absence, and I need to get a handyman here quickly. Oh, yeah, got it. So, we we'll discuss that tomorrow. <laughs> and no problem if you have to change the time slot. That's fine with me you know my agenda that's okay right. ashutosh um best of luck for the rest of the work on um, this week enjoy the festival and see you eh, whenever you feel like it because no mandatory meeting anymore <laughs> yep. okay. yeah but, I but we could keep on this time slot if you ever you want to we can keep it for a few weeks or whatever or every other week we'll discuss that maybe on uh, matrix element, whatever, as you feel. Okay. Ashutosh, okay. you wanted to say something? I was saying that I will be on the docs office hours. And office hours and docs office hours. Maybe. Despite the festival? No, the festival. When is okay. the festival? Festival is on 30th. Uh, so I should be able to make it on Thursday 31 because it's in, it night for me. Yeah. Okay. I let you. Unless let you, you have, know. unless you have eaten too much. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank great. Enjoy the festival. So, 
Yeah, and thanks a lot for your help, uh, Zoom-related, uh, Jean-Marc. Yeah. I was lost today. Thanks a bunch, folks, and see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. need to drop too. Yeah, bye-bye.